by low jockey here at the house kind of chilling but not really y'all don't know this but my truck was in the shop and I just got an email from the Volvo dealership that's right around the corner from my house and uh, yeah we got to get back to work I've been off for a few days so now it was my wife's birthday and some other stuff I had to get the truck fixed but right now we are yeah just got the bill here right under three thousand dollars about to run to Nacarado I'll take you with me uh, yeah so if you get a truck it's maintenance compared to my last repair this one is kind of minor but yeah it's less than I thought it was but I don't know what this price is because I had a couple of things done and uh, they said the unit is ready and uh, yeah, I need to go and pick up my truck and uh, get some stuff for tomorrow and uh, get ready to get back on the road. So, yep, y'all come with me. We can go check out my truck and uh, we got to see what's up with my baby. All right, I just pulled up at the uh, dealership, uh, Volvo. It's, uh, it's Volvo. It's Nacarado Volvo. That's where I got my truck from. That's where I get my truck fixed. And, uh, for me, they have just built a facility um, in my hometown, so lucky for me. But anyway, what we're going to do is get ready to give them these uh, almost $3,000. And for a lot of y'all, that will be a tough pill to swallow. But for me, I look at it as a write-off. So if you own a business, this is the advantage of having a business. If you are a regular guy and your car broke down, and you had to pay a thousand dollar bill that'll just be it it'll be a thousand dollars gone but when you own a business even though it's like almost three grand um it's a write-off so essentially uh it's getting done for free but not really you know what i'm saying i can write that off as a business expense it was a loss it was a a uh, a business expense uh maintenance but anyway let me go up in here and give them the money uh, or should I say the plastic? We're going to swipe this. I mean, what's the use of having good credit if you can't swipe it? I'll be back and then I see my truck right there. They need me to get that out of the way. But I'm going to go get that and I'll, I'll show you what's up. All right, so we got the truck back. And uh, I'll show y'all what's going on. Oh, they cleaned it. Anyway. We had a problem with the radiator. So we got a new radiator here. And uh, we got in a new tensioner. If you can see where my hand is for the, uh, we got a new belt for the alternator. And we, ha and we have a new tensioner, pulley tensioner, whatever that is in there. Now, somebody gave me that part when I got this Volvo, somebody gave me that part, and they said, hey man, one day you're gonna need this uh, tensioner pulley, whatever the crap, and I was like, okay. And uh, hey, I needed it. So that saved me a few hundred dollars right there by having that part, luckily. So here I am here with this new part, new belt, new radiator, and uh, all new fluid. Come across this side, uh new radiator uh well this this part i don't know if y'all remember in the past i changed this part so that's brand new this hose is still new i changed that part um all the other hoses are the same but yeah as you can see by those mats right there i had a radiator leak and it was fluid all over the place and uh i'm glad they cleaned it well they cleaned some of it as you can see some of that so we're gonna have to take it to a blue beacon at some point in the near future to get that uh cleaned up but yeah 
that is the uh, that is the repair right there and since I got this open I can show you all the crap that happened to me in the past so uh, like I said I have changed every tire on the truck every tire I have replaced every tire on this thing and then we can go over some of the crazy stuff that happened so I blew out a tire in the past and tore all this up replaced that and when I replaced that one I put the new one on the other side uh, blew out this tire and as you can see my stuff don't match I got this mud flapping plane blew out this tire tore up this whole assembly right here <clears throat> so after I blew out that tire I had to uh, I had to get that repaired also we had an uh, uh, it, it's called an uh, it's called the electrical assembly basically the uh, electrical harness went out so if we can find the harness uh, I forgot I think I have to open one of the flaps over there but that's the harness but anyway there's my truck so right now I'm dealing with uh, this guy told me about the windows up there they leak because uh, they don't really have a gasket I can see that one right there clear as freaking day y'all can't see it but I can see it uh, at least water in like a mother um, yeah I'm gonna have to give me some fifth wheel grease well it's greasy enough for now it's time for an oil change too but I don't have time for that right now but we'll get that done uh, I think I'm gonna have to change out this pigtail soon sometimes it has my trailer light blinking funny but it happens kind of rare so it's weird uh see what else i got going on here what else did i tear up on this thing a lot of stuff um uh, oh that's nice oh that's beautiful i don't know if y'all can see that but that new radiator oh it's wonderful they got me clean i don't know oh there's a wire and harness i had to replace earlier this year this thing goes from the rudy to the tootie this is the very beginning of it it goes all underneath the frame and all of that and that one that one that one cost me like 10 g's all right so if you're gonna come out here maintenance is going to be a part of your deal something's gonna break down but anyway this repair cost me about three grand just under three grand like i said luckily i had a part a guy gave me in the past and the guy was like how would you know you're gonna need that part i didn't know i was gonna need it but this old man gave me the part. He's like, you need, a, you got a Volvo, you're going to need this. So thank you to Mr. Old Man who gave me that part when I first got this truck. I don't even know who he is now, but hopefully he, he's not a psychic and he knew I was going to break down. But anyway, next thing we're going to do, which is the most important thing, is to, uh, number one, uh, send this paperwork for this $3,000 repair to my accountant, okay? So I don't lose the paperwork and an accountant is kind of important. You can do it yourself, but you can write off this whole repair and I can write off the accountant fees too, because that's a part of my business. So, you know, having your own truck, it has its headaches and it has its perks. So like I said, if you had to do a repair on your car, you just have to fix it and take a L. You know, if you had a $2,000 car repair, you fix it and you go home and you you debit from your account and then it's over but when you own a business it's a write-off so most people just think if you instead of going to clock in and working at a job if you were a contractor for your same job then everything you do for instance I'm about to go to the store and get me some work clothes and I'm gonna write all that off too since I'm out some of some at home and uh, I don't get out here too often but right now I'm gonna hook back up to my trailer scan my receipt in and pick a load for tomorrow because we got to get ready to get out of here they don't know it but i'm gonna leave my truck parked in their parking lot until the morning <laughs> they don't know that but they close early anyway because of the roni they close at five so i paid the least they can do is let me park for until tomorrow morning so anyway let me let me go get a load this is very important See? all right guys so we got that truck stuff taken care of we picked us a couple of great loads uh some of my favorite loads that i like to take that pay very well since we are behind schedule it's uh 
what is it Tuesday I'll be leaving out on a Wednesday the pay period started on the Sunday so I'll be playing catch up for this week but uh, the good thing is I got my truck fixed under budget it might not seem like it but I was expecting over three grand and uh, they did some things extra so it's time to go make some money but before I do I mean it's a little cold front right here in Tennessee so we got a little cooler this weekend so uh, before I took my truck to get repaired I took everything out of it and with that being said uh, I had like freak man I had like a month's worth of clothes in the truck man and to be honest I, get, I can get home no more than 10 days man I, I'm, I'm out away from my house about 7 to 10 days that's it or either I'm passing by the house so I'm like I don't need all them freaking clothes in my truck right so um I took a lot of that stuff off and I did an inventory on it. And you know, sometimes it's time to replace things, you know? Even us guys, we gotta you gotta get some new undies sometimes, guys. You gotta get some new, as we say in Alabama, some draws, bro. So that's what we're gonna do. We gotta go to the store. I'm gonna look for some little sweatpants and stuff. A couple of sweatshirts for the Lolo. Uh, yeah, TJ Maxx, you know, for all the people out there that that are regular humans like me we go to discount stores like that try to get me some little sweatpants and stuff because yeah we about to change it up I'm not wearing no more shorts and the load I got right now is going to the Northeast so it's gonna be a little bit cooler and we're gonna get ready for that fall season it's a time of year I like anyway less bugs less heat um, but we're gonna have to need some sweatpants and stuff so I got a lot of hoodies from last year. I just want to get a couple of things. That's all. And, uh, you know, get a couple of things for the truck as far as things to drink and stuff like that. And get ready, man. It's about to be a new season. You know, now it's, people are counting down to Christmas already. So we got to go get this bread. So anyway, I'm going to the old TJ Maxx to get some underoos, bro. Like I said, some new draws. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get ready to hit the road tomorrow. My baby's fixed, she's ready to roll, and I'm ready to roll. Back at the truck, and uh, what the heck is going on here? Uh, kind of dark looking. There we go. We back at the truck, guys. Unfortunately, I have to put all my crap back there, if you can see it. I got sheets, clothes, crap that I took out earlier, so it wouldn't be in the truck. So that way, uh, when I clean my truck out, anyway, I needed to clean the truck out. I'm getting chopped up for it. Like I said, I had like months worth of clothes in there, so I had to get rid of some of that crap. And so now uh, I took some stuff out, you know, might as well wash the sheets, clean up stuff. I got to put this crap back, and then tomorrow I'll be back on the road. New video, new look. You'll see what I'm talking about tomorrow when I get back out here with you guys. So. I'm kind of like in the red right now. Spent a lot of money fixing my personal vehicle as well as this truck. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be extra spicy and hungry come tomorrow. So I got to load. So I'm going to take all this crap back here and uh, install it back inside the truck. And uh, not take so much crap with me seeing that I come home a lot. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video today. Tomorrow, it should be a different vibe look. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, load jockey out. I'm back on the road. $3,000 repair. Finished. Now it's time to make the money back. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next time.